Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation, Electrical Design in NX uh, for Industrial Machinery. In my presentation, I will first explain to you for which industries, for which uses this software is intended for. Then I will explain you what industrial electrical design in NX is so special. What is uh, the special purpose and the special solution that we have created here within Siemens. I will explain to you this, the features that the software has, also some new ones, finalizing, of course, with a summary, summarizing the benefits that you can gain out of this uh, software and the entire solution around it. My name is uh, Wolfgang Schlögel. I'm Vice President Digital Engineering with Siemens Digital Enterprise Software. I'm taking care of this software, electrical design, but also the automation designer and the connection of those tools to other Siemens softwares to create a suite of solutions for industrial machinery customers around the globe. And with that, I already come to the users and potential industries for our software, industrial electrical design. If you are in industrial machinery, building machine tools, but also production machines, special machines, conveyor technology, automotive production, HVAC systems. If you're in this area, then um, industrial electrical design in an X uh, might be an interesting tool, or an interesting solution for you. Or if you're building electrical or mechanical components that are used in these industries or other industries, then you might also be interested in what I'm going to explain to you in the next, uh, let's say, 15 minutes. NX is certainly known to you. To most, NX is still a leading software for mechanical CAD and simulation in that area. But NX, uh, in the meantime, is much more. NX has become a platform for different applications and the interesting thing is that those applications are integrated. One special area out of this platform uh, I'm going to highlight today, uh, which is um, related to mechatronics, mechatronics for industrial machinery. I have shown that and highlighted that with those uh, four stars here, where you can see that NX has integration features now, it has capabilities for electrical design, for automation design, but also for the connection to uh, virtual commissioning for machines and lines. With that, Siemens has really created a unique software platform, a unique solution, and you will, will have to try hard to find something similar somewhere else on the market. And uh, the readiness and the completeness uh, is really advanced and I can promise you that with this solution you can directly start enhancing your uh, efficiency in your engineering process. But where do you typically come from? Typically you come out of a traditional world perhaps where the mechanical engineer starts, hands over the engineering results, design results to the electrical department they doing their electrical schematics, uh, bills of materials of electrical devices, and handing that over to automation. The problem here is, and you know that certainly, that the interfaces between those domains are not standardized really. Um, the interfaces are weak, they're error prone. A lot of communication has to take place around. And uh, electrical design is still somehow not really automated. Uh, it's still a lot of manual painting, let's say manual painting of uh, electrical schematics. Siemens had the idea and the plan to solve those obstacles that are listed here and Siemens created the mentioned collaborative design environment in NX. In NX you can create electrical design attached to the mechanics, include uh, automation design and very interesting and important is the capability of reuse. Reuse is a, a way to increase uh, your efficiency by using things again that you have already used uh, in projects before. If you are using 
collaborative design in an X. You can, in addition, also take the automation designer to create and generate 70 to 80% of the PLC project automatically. With all of that, I think I'm not lying when we promise that you can probably reduce up to 30% or around 30% of your um, effort in engineering when using our solution here. How can this uh, in practical look like uh, in your company? So if you are creating a machine or a production line, you typically have the mechanical design, electrical design, the routing of the cables and the wires, um, and the, the visualization of these in the 3D. Now you can do all of that inside of NX. You can start with mechanics, hand over the signal um, list with um, sensors, actuators, over to electrical design. Here you can do, as you know it, 2D schematics with single lines, with multi-lines. You have a 3D cabinet design, but also 2D cabinet design. Out of that, you get the information about the cables wires. These you can um, work on further in NX, in NX routing, and then also work further in uh, 3D to show the cables wires in the 3D model. This is now all based on a fully integrated data model that is in NX, but also in Team Center. And with that, all people who are working on that project have access to the same data uh, at the same time. No um, intensive communication is needed and also a very sophisticated change management is possible. So that you get uh, a little bit of an idea what's uh, inside of uh, industrial electrical design in the next. Here you can see in this video that we are of course supporting multi-line diagrams. Interestingly, this is directly connected then to the 3D cabinet design. So the 3D cabinet, the 2D schematics, but also the 3D machine, they are all in this integrated environment under the same user interface. You have, of course, standard features that are in um, every advanced ECAT system. I mentioned multi-line, single line, bomb management, all needed reports, um, connection to the, or even integrated um, cabinet design in 3D, but also in 2D. But this is not all. With that, we would only be a ECAT system that is uh, available like all the others. The benefit and the, the things that we have advanced in Siemens are especially the area of reuse that I mentioned, where you can use, reuse engineering results from your former projects, but also the so-called rule-based engineering, where you can automatically insert and adapt those templates to your um, projects that you're working on. But to that, I will come uh, in a few minutes. So, five points make the industrial electrical design really special. As I mentioned, you can expect all the traditional ECAT functionalities in the tool anyway, so trust me here. <laughs> um, but what is additional? So we have an integrated data model of electrics and automation. So if you're creating um, electrical design, then in the automation system, you all already automatically get the signal list and the hardware configuration, for example. Second point here, um, the multidisciplinary integration, the mechatronics, the connection to the mechanical design, where you have a very nice uh, change management interface and are in the same environment, of course. Point uh, three and four I'm explaining in the next two slides, the rule-based engineering and the, and the mechatronic templates. And the fifth point is then, of course, an even completer portfolio. When you go outside of the engineering in the area of simulation or validation with virtual commissioning, all of that is also possible in, uh, in the NX platform uh, in combination with Team Center as the uh, data backbone. So as I, as I mentioned, I go in more detail uh, on the point three and four. I already mentioned the rule-based engineering. 
Rule-based engineering is, uh, is a technology to automate your engineering processes. So nobody really wants to type in parameters, adopt parameters to the project structure if there's a logic behind that can be automated. So with the rule-based engineering, you have rules that automatically fill in the property fields, adopt them to the project structure, and this um, brings you to an engineering process where you can work mainly with drag and drop in your trees and not being forced to type and make correct entries in property fields. And those rule -based, this rule-based engineering makes especially sense with the templates that are available for reuse. With that, I come to the templates. Templates are structures that can be put in libraries and that are available for reuse in your further projects. Interestingly, these templates are mechatronic. So not only one domain is included there, but all, but all three main engineering domains are part of that template. So for example, if a um, um, mechanical designer puts a machine module inside of the actual design that is uh, based on a template, the electrical and automation engineers directly get the information needed for their work based on the content of this template that was stored in the library. And as I mentioned before, if you insert such a template, it connects automatically to your entire project based on this rule-based engineering. Templates will be and can be uh, created according to your personal, to your personal electrical and automation standard. So it's your knowledge, it's your IP that you're putting into the templates Templates are extremely flexible. They can be small, as small as a sensor, but, but as large as an entire machine module. Def depends on how you structure and modularize your machine or line portfolio. I also said I would like to mention two more things that are new in the latest release of our um, industrial electrical design software. One is the openness and the connectivity to different PLC systems. Of course, you can imagine that the Siemens system, TIA portal, is seamlessly and perfectly integrated. But of course, with electrical design, you can also use uh, other PLC systems like Rockwell or Mitsubishi. We are using here the um, worldwide industrial standard Automation ML that takes care of the hardware configuration and the symbol lists uh, being transferred to those um, PLC systems uh, in the different yeah, countries, which are basically main users of uh, different PLC tools. Second thing is um, machine tool engineering. So if you're in the area of machine tools or a supplier for machine tool engineers, we now have a very nice solution uh, that also integrates things like uh, the access drive allocation, drive click, uh, direct support of the new Siemens CNC controller, Cinomeric 1, which is now a starting point for machine tool builders also being able to go in a full-blown um, mechatronic collaborative solution that is capable then also going in direction of simulation and uh, validation with virtual commissioning. So machine tool engineering now is also fully supported with uh, the Siemens tools, including industrial electrical design. With that, um, I would like to summarize a little bit um, what I've told you um, in the last uh, 15 minutes. So NX Industrial in, uh, Design is a, a tool inside of NX connected to the other modules to get a collaborative engineering environment that enables mechatronics engineering. Truly unique on the market. It has, of course, the basic ECAT features that you would expect from an advanced ECAT system, single line, multi-line reports, bomb management, cabinet design, just to name quickly again a few of these. Um, additionally, we have new technologies inside that gain really efficiency in the process, like the integrated data model, rule-based engineering to automate your engineering processes, templates for intelligent reuse, even in the, uh, in the mechatronic way. Um, with all of that, um, I would 
simply uh, finalize here my presentation with this overview. With Siemens now, you can go on a journey bringing your perhaps traditional engineering process really on a new level, working mechatronics, being able to build at the end a real digital twin of your machine, of your production line in a mechatronic way, being able to use that for other tasks like simulation, virtual commissioning, reuse of the digital twin during production on the shop floor, having an integrated data model of electrics, automation, mechanics, as basis for, let's say, maintenance service activities or the ability to use the digital twin for replannings and new projects. This is now all possible with this now completed picture of our collaborative engineering in an X with an X industrial electrical design as the ECAT module inside of that. With that, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention. It was a pleasure to speak to you here virtually. Hope to see you soon again, perhaps also in person somewhere. Goodbye.